and welcome to my channel. Today, I'll give you a quick overview of our one-day tour to Ninh Binh, located just an hour south of Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam. Our tour included boat rides, visits to the King Dinh Temple, and exploring Mua Cave and Mountain. To participate in this one-day tour, we boarded a minibus in front of the hotel at 8 a.m. and traveled for about an hour and a half to reach our destination. The first activity of this tour was a boat ride in the Tam Kok area. When we arrived, there was a long queue to board the boats, but due to abundance of boats, our turn came quite quickly. Each boat could only accommodate two people, and the boatmen, who were mostly women, were interestingly rowing the boats with their feet. At three points along the route, the river passed through caves, which was very captivating for most tourists. There were beautiful landscapes around the water, including mountains, rice fields, local houses and tourist accommodations, wild birds and colorful flowers. My spouse, who has experience living and working in nature, explained that these birds do not consume crops, but rather feed on insects and pests thereby benefiting the farmers. During our boat trip back, our boatwoman communicated to us using a few English words and, of course, body language, indicating that some members of her family engage in embroidery and sell their products. She showed us some examples she had for sale, and I ended up purchasing two of her beautiful embroidered artworks.
After the boat ride, we boarded the minibus again and headed to a very good restaurant that offered a buffet lunch with a wide variety of excellent dishes. The next part of the tour was a visit to the Haolu Temple. This is the area surrounding the temple. Now we enter the courtyard of the temple. It was a nested courtyard and very beautiful, which I really liked. But inside the temple was a bit strange. As far as I understood from the tour guide, one of the kings of Thailand actually built this temple to glorify himself. And apparently, among the kings of that period, there was a tradition of each king building a temple to glorify themselves. Here, it was different from the temples I had seen in China before. It was dark and it was difficult to see what was inside. The third part of the tour was a visit to the Dancing Mountains, which was delightful for me and my spouse, as we were eager to have some physical activity. After purchasing tickets by our tour leader, we entered the courtyard. It was a beautiful courtyard at the foot of the mountain, and then we had to climb up the mountain, which had 500 steps and took about half an hour. Up there, we took a rest and took photos and videos. Our tour leader explained to us that hundreds of years ago, the king of Vietnam used to come here to watch the dance and singing performances, which led to this place being called the Dancing Mountains. When we came back down, we saw other parts of the surrounding landscapes and filmed them. I should also mention that we just bought the drone and we are not very skilled with it yet. That's why with the limited time our tour guide gave us, we couldn't capture the views more effectively. But I think even this amount shows the beauty of the area.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, take care and goodbye.